and Princess Peach is just fucking here. Sniffle. Mara is probably hurt and dead in the woods, bleeding. He's probably lying in a pool of his own blood. He probably got impaled on a tree branch when he fell into the woods. He's fucking gone. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. Guahaha, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the we're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess Peach, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. Oh man. You know the print. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes. It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? Aren't you like so attracted to me right now? Look how fucking powerful I am. Aren't you kind of into me a little? Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> Imagine what it's like down in your kingdom. Your subject must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Selfish little pricks. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Koopas over the years. That is kind of true. That is totally true. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, princess. I can grant wishes. Yeah. If you want, if you want to like wish for a hug or something. Wish for a kiss. If you wanted to wish, if you wanted to wish for me to take off my shell right now, and of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy, enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess Peach. You better not cause trouble. I will kill you. We will throw you off the balcony, and you will die just like your fucking boyfriend did. Oh, please, if only somebody could help me. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? Oh my god, it's like somebody heard me just now. And they're here to help me, maybe? Hello, Princess Peach. Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. I think twink is a term used to describe like a, a, a little, like a slender kind of gay man, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But this music is pretty fitting for his name. But you're, you're a star kid. Star kid in caps, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wished that somebody could help me? Oh, it's, oh, he totally did hear her. Yeah, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thanks so much. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and, and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? I right, think you can do it. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. I, I kind of suck at my job. You know, I, I missed that seminar where they taught you how to be a better star. I, I didn't go to that one. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Heaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please, ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Well, what the fuck can a small star do? Can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have to save them all as soon as possible. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't grant a wish. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. Actually, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I, I can't do big wishes yet. I were a more splendid star. Maybe I could actually help. It's alright. Don't be sad. <laughs> you suck ass, but don't be sad. You, you, you'll stop sucking ass someday. You'll, you'll stop seeing ass, and you'll, you'll be able to resist the urge to suck it. <laughs> Don't be sad. Mario will definitely do something to, sa to save us all. He's probably coming right now. He's, he's really useful, unlike you. 
He's, he's gonna... Don't worry, he'll help us. You don't need to help us. Because you can't. <laughs> Let's just rely on Mario, because he's a real man. Oh, Twink. Do you think you can find Mario? I want you to give this to him. What the fuck is that? He's winking. I like how his sprite is just going up and down like all excitedly, but his mouth is like not moving at all. That's that's funny. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can, which is actually pretty fucking slow because you know I suck. Oh wait, Twink. Wait one second. Can you also dot dot dot? Please tell Mario that I'm fine and he shouldn't worry. Okay? Can you tell him that? Wow, what a selfish bitch. Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach, definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon. So stay safe until I return, okay? So... So, she, she's just... Uh, well, she's correctly assuming that Mario is only thinking about her. Like, that guy down there on Earth or what? The Mushroom Kingdom or whatever the fuck? He's he's so worried about me like oh that's all he can think about I'm sure I'm sure he's coming right now I'm sure he fucking took the day off work he fucking some got some toad in town right now is a clogged fucking toilet and Mario's just saying you know what I'm sorry dude I, I gotta do this I got a call for my for my for my peach beeper <laughs> my peach pager and I just I gotta do this so you're just gonna have to like go in the bushes for a day so you know, we need to reschedule this because there's some chick that I've that, that I'm like sworn to protect every time some shit goes down and she, again she made no effort to fucking defend herself to fight it off she doesn't even she has no protection whatsoever once again she's in trouble so you know I, I gotta do it I gotta do it because that's what I do. I'm a plumber and a hero. I wish some days I could just be a plumber and not a hero, but fuck. Some Japanese guy decided that I needed to save the world. Mario, where are you? I don't know why that, that rant. Where did that come from? <laughs> ah, Mario, what the fuck? <laughs> He doesn't look like a plumber at all to me. What's with those gloves? That hat? The nose? The mustache? That that works. And the fat belly? That works too. Whoa! Headshot. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's you're Mario, aren't you? You're that guy? Thank the stars I found you. Thank me that I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yeah, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it. Take it, you bitch. You got the lucky star. A star-shaped pendant lets you use the action. Oh my god, yes. You have to use the action command. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain the action? No. This is important, Mario. I think you'll want to know about this. No. Okay, great. I don't have to explain. Because you're smart, unlike I am. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific. You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. Oh. What? What? It can't be. You following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you, I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll, I'll tell Kami Koopa she'll totally give me a raise. She'll show, she'll shower me with praise. Oh, she'll give me. Oh, I, I, wow! <laughs> I didn't even read that. And okay, the game. I'm like so, like in tune with this video game right now. That these writers, like I'm, I'm. I'm all up in it. Here I come. All right, so this whole action command nonsense is that thing on the bottom. Press A just before landing, and that uh, before I do that, I'm gonna do this. 
This is a magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Attack power. Th Holy shit, attack power three. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You'd better take these guys seriously. Yeah, I'm not joking. I'm okay. I'll do that. Um. Fucking this. Ah, oh, what? The fudge. What? The I'm fucking this up. Hang on. There we go. Okay, that that worked. What? Okay, I need to work on this timing. <laughs> Maybe it's like a little bit before. Hmm, I think I'm doing it a little too late. Like, I'm trying to time it like exactly as the Mario makes contact. <laughs> well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. Because you've done it before, like a lot, a thousand times. I'm going to return to Princess Peach's side. I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. While well, Mario, see, wait, who, who sent this little star shit to help Princess Peach? Like the ruler of the Mushroom Kingdom. They just should have sent like a veteran fucking champion star over to help her or something. They sent this little fag who just got there yesterday. <laughs> oh, <coughs> oh dear! I almost forgot to tell you. A message from Princess Peach. I'm alright, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling, though, that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to, to help both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. So he's going to run off to help the princess, who's only suffering from loneliness. Mario's getting smashed and beaten to death, getting magicked all up, all over the place. There he goes, back to Bowser's Castle. What a brave little guy. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. So why doesn't he fucking help Mario? He should be, like, Mario's, like, second fucking ally in battle. He should, like, fucking head smash enemies the way he did with Mario when he met him. Oh, Mario. Merlon was looking for you. He lives in that house with the spinning roof. He has to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. Rare for Merlon to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even he, he, even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Okay. So we're gonna do that in a sec. Right after we heal. <laughs> mash the button. Mash B button. Ugh. I'm going to randomly plug another channel, <laughs> another YouTube channel that you should definitely check out. It's called Run Button. It's run by it's run by these two guys, Kyle and Keith. They're super hilarious. Watch their stuff. Okay. All right. I guess we gotta talk to this dude. Merlon is out. Wait, what? Is that a lie? Why do you keep on knocking him t when I'm telling you he's out? Oh. Did you just fucking lie? What the? Why is somebody sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe no. Yes, it must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Mario's been hearing like every. Uh. Where to begin? My name is Merlon. I am a wizard, of course. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I'll try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual... <laughs> but one day, it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I... Standing face to face. Then, the far away, the pious was... Raised me up. Was amazing. I was still so young then, I believed in, but 
our hearts were. And then, so... And that is all that matters. Oh, uh, hey Mario, were you even li were you listening to me? Mario's a liar. Oh, all right. So anyway, that is why I am able to help you. If you get lost during your adventures, you can come to me. You can predict the path you should take for a small. Pr what a dick! Right now, you your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as is humanly possible, but. According to my second sight. Second sight. Is that... Is that a reference to like a Stephen King book or something? I don't know. According to my second sight, your path much must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros fortress ahead... Wait. That period at the end of Bros, that kind of threw me off. To reach the Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Toad House. Okay, so I gotta go east. Going west. I don't think I can buy badges. No, still. Let's check this out. So this is like the eastern part of Toad Town that is blocked off right now. Fortunately, it's impossible. Scattered wood, thick, quickly, inconvenient. Bear with us. Yeah, it's blocked, basically. Uh, and this is the thing that we don't need to... She takes care of the... Wow, they really... Growing flowers. She she grows the flowers. She has a green thumb. They really came up with, like... Bits of dialogue for every single character in the game? No way. This guy knows tons of gossip. His favorite subject is the brother and sister who live on Shooting Star Summit. Sometimes it's tough dragging information out of him, but then again, it's... No way they fucking do that for every single toad. This toad... I'll tell you a secret, he's a huge fan of the princess. He told me once that he has a big collection of her photos, what a lovesick fool. See that blue pole in front of the post... In front of the post office, that's a road sign. You can find out what's what's where in Toad Town by checking out the signs. What am I telling you this for? I'm sure you know it's smart to read all the signs you see. Oh my god. it's a lot of words. Wow, they really came up with bits of dialogue for every single fucking character in this game? That's outrageous that they did that. Seems like this Toad is always in love with someone right now. He likes Min T. I think he's in good spirits. As long as he can be near her, he'll be happy. Look at Minty, always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. God, what a loser. Ask her out, man. You don't want to go out there. It's, it's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress was, would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you, don't even think about it. So these guys look super sinister. You don't want to go out there too dangerous. Going to Cooper Fortress, definitely. Okay, so I guess I gotta talk to Merlon. Merloin. I'm gonna try something. Mario, predict the path. No. I remember this confused the hell out of me. What you're supposed to do is not talk to him from here. You're supposed to go behind here and then talk to him. Strange toads blocking the east side of Toad Town. That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of. Never! I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. Okay, so... It took me a long time to figure that out. Like, I didn't know that you had to talk to him. I didn't know that talking to him from, like, behind the the crystal ball thing, that, that did anything. I told you that you can't pass. Take off. Hmm, you aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about, bro. 
Yeah, well, Gibbs, ask anyone. We're, we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Rarg. Just as I thought. You're the Koopa Bros. How how did you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. You're old. You should. Is he old? I don't even know. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Black? That's racist. <laughs> Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Oh, Mario, there's one prat of your fortune I haven't revealed. Oh, prat? Why did I call it? Wow, I can't fucking read. <laughs> Is prat even a word? There's one part of your fortune I haven't revealed. <laughs> I'm tired. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need to help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange... This is a strange... Port? Portent. Wait, 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 wait. Portent? Is that an A or an O? No, it's an O. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will help... That will clear it up. This, what the fuck? Portent? Is that a word? I must return home now. God, English is just... What? Chapter 1! Storming the Koopa Bros Fortress. So we're gonna kick ass now. Oh god! Oh shit, I forgot that that happened. Okay. So I'm gonna tattle the shit out of this guy. This is a Koopa Troopa. Everybody knows Koopa Troopas. They're Bowser's fellow followers. Actually, just before, da, da, da. defensive power one, their shells are hard. If you can flip them over, their defense power will fall to zero and it will become much easier for you to defeat them. You can flip them with a power block or a jump attack. Okay. So I'm gonna jump on him. Oh, okay, so I have to press A, like, before, like way before. It's not. All right, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll tell you exactly when I press A. Now. Uh, what? That was too soon. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll do it again. Now. Uh, what the? F okay. Okay. Weird. Yay, only four star points. Uh Okay. Ah, oh, I fucked that one up. I suck at video games, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, I screwed that I'm doing it too soon now, I think. That's such weird timing. Okay, so now we're going to uh, Koopa Town, I think. Uh, no, there's got to be a thing here. Hidden block. I know you're here. I I've played Mario games before. I I understand them. All right, I'm gonna tattle this dude because I didn't before. This is a Spike Goomba. Spike Goombas. Our goombas with spikes on their heads. Nice, there should be two attack power too. Whatever you do, don't jump on the spikes or you'll get hurt or even paralyzed. Ew. Okay, so it works a little bit different with the hammer. I have to hold the uh, stick to the left and then release it when the... Yeah. Yeah, and then, the, and then I get more damages. Bigger numbers. I'm gonna try to like avoid weak enemies. I'll. I'll mm. Dizzy attack badge. There is a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to. What? I think. Wait. I don't need hammer throw. 
Okay, yeah, it, it changed my uh, my spin move. I think if I hit an enemy while spinning like this, it makes them well dizzy, I guess. But what does that do? I don't know. Oh God! Stay the fuck away. All right, I, so I, I did it. What does this do? Okay, so we just can't move for one turn. That's that's pretty good. I think if they're on their back, yeah, they, yeah, sometimes like they'll skip a turn, like, like one turn is just to get up off their backs. I think that's how that works. I don't really remember. Sometimes they'll fail. So Koopa Troopers are actually super easy. And they only give two star points. What the fuck? Lame. Alright, so I got a thing here. That doesn't do anything. Okay. What the... Oh, okay. Bridge. Ah, I see that shit. Die! Oh, god damn it. Um. Okay. So this is what happens if, um, your... Your dude gets damaged. He can't move for the, for the next turn. Death unto you. Okay. I think I'm pretty close to the... God, only four. I'm pr pretty close to the uh, Koopa town, I think. I don't want to fucking deal with Goombas. They're the small times. Oh, I can't hit that tree. Wait a minute, I gotta check something. I think I, I, uh... Oh, maybe not. I, th I was gonna say that I think, um, my spin move, like, has a longer range, but... No, it doesn't. It totally doesn't. Uh, there's something here. Ah, uh, I can't get it. I'll be able to get that soon. Sleepy sheepy. Oh god, get the money. Get the shit out of this money. Alright. This is cool. <laughs> I don't think there's an end to this, like, you could just get, like, infinite, an infinite number of hearts from that. That's pretty cool. I remember liking this when I was a kid, like, I was, this, this was very fun to me for some reason. Probably because I was a child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I still think it's kind of fun, by the way. <laughs> I guess I haven't grown up much. I think I was like 11 years old when this game came out. Huh? What the fudge? Changes the sound effect. Changes the sound effect when Mario's attacking. Nah. I'll go over those a little bit later after I get more of them. Oh god. Can it be? Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish we could really welcome you, but we're in big troubles. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You do know what fuzzies are like, don't you, Mario? They look like this. Mean guys. They're really naughty. Oh no, stupid fuzzy, get back here with my shell. 
Okay, so we're gonna deal with this um, next time. Because it's been two hours now. Oh, man, I am tired. Playing four hours of games and doing commentary, like, for four straight hours is just, it's very tiring. Oh, man. Oh, it feels good to stretch. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I really should fucking do this at the beginning of my... I always do it at the end. I always go out... I talk about, like, voting for whatever game you want to see, like, at the end, when I should do it at the beginning. But, whatever. Um... Yeah, I, I have a, you know what, fuck it, you know by now about the poll. There's a poll on my Twitter page, vote for a, the game that you want to see, it's there. The Twitter page is, it's there, and you, you click the link and you press the button, and you you, you, you have a choice, you have a say. I just, I'm turning my, I've turned my YouTube channel into a fucking democracy, alright? You, you all have a, a choice and a vote and thing, and a, yeah, and it's cool, it's, it's freedom and liberty and all that nonsense, and whatever, so do that. I'm so fucking tired. I'm starving too. I need to eat something. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and all that nonsense. <sighs> Laters.